In today's video I'm gonna show you how I created this cool Pringles animation with some cool and easy techniques to follow up and some nice nice tricks. Stay till the end. Ok, so let's move to After Effects and create a new 4K composition, so it's just simple 3840-2160, then we press OK and you can see that I already have my logo prepared for the animation, so what I did here, I separated those layers, so I have those letters separated from each other and also the whole face. How I did this, you can see my tutorial with Nike logo animation where I prepare the whole file. Ok, so the first step would be to animate the face so let's just focus only on the face, I'm gonna hide those layers. What I would like to do to introduce this face from the top, so the face is falling down and then maybe uh, he is smiling or doing something different. I will parent those face elements to our main layer, so I just select those layers and parent them. And now if I'm gonna change the position of this layer, everything follows. So let's put a keyframe here, let's also go to scale and put a keyframe Two. and we're gonna put this face here so we should have something like this right now nothing special but it's a good start and also let's change the scale to maybe 10% okay I'm gonna select those keyframes and add an expression elastic to add a bit of bounciness Oh, it looks better. And now I'm gonna unlink those K values and make it a bit more real. Okay, so here we're gonna duplicate this keyframe, put it here and here we should do something like this. And also let's put the anchor point at the bottom. So I just use the motion tool script to do this automatically, but you can do this also by hand clicking here. Okay, this looks a bit better, but this is too strong. I'm gonna reduce the amplitude here. Okay, now this expression works a bit better. Okay, let's see the amplitude on 15. Okay, this looks cool. I'm gonna add an echo effect, change the echo operator to maximum, number of echoes 12, and let's reduce the echo time. Oh, looks good. And what I'd like to do next is, uh, I would like to rotate this face a bit. So maybe uh, he is looking here and in another second he is looking at the left side. So I'm just gonna play with the rotation firstly. Let's start with moustache. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this layer, remove the parent and change the label because this is gonna be our reference point. And here I'm gonna just go to scale and type minus OK. And let's also rotate this a bit. This is gonna be our reference point, so I'm just gonna solo only those two layers. I'm gonna reduce the opacity in both. And here I'm gonna go to Contents, Path. I'm gonna leave this one keyframe here. And on the new one, I'm just gonna try to match this shape. So this is a bit time consuming, but it's gonna give us a nice result. Ok, and let's increase the opacity and see what we have. And right now you can see that we've got those two keyframes and if we put them a bit further, we've got this animation. Ok, and let's show all of the layers. And right now I would like to parent eyebrows to eyes. So I'm just gonna select eyebrow 2, parent to A right and eyebrow 1 to A left. And we add a keyframe, we put those keyframes at the beginning and at the end we go and let's also add rotation here we're gonna move this one eye maybe here and the second here and let's also change the scale a bit okay let's see what we have so we've got some kind of rotation okay this eye should be a bit closer let's go to our mustache play here with maybe position and rotation too so those two keyframes at the beginning and here we could maybe do something like this. We can also fix the path a bit and here I'm gonna also play with rotation. And those eyebrows I would like to animate a bit with position value. So here this keyframe we put it here and as we go we lower this a bit like this and here we put the first keyframe again. 
those eye eyebrows are going down and then uh, back to original position. Okay, and now let's add F9. So select all of those keyframes and just press F9 and maybe put them a bit further. Okay, I'm gonna fix those eyes a bit and also add a rotation to our face. And here we should go back to original position. So we duplicate those keyframes and here I would like to have a bit of pause. So I'm gonna duplicate those. Okay, let's here do the same trick to our eyebrows and we're gonna make those keyframes linear and we're gonna add our favorite expression elastic. So let's select those keyframes, press elastic and those eyebrows should now have a bit of bounce. Yeah, you can see right now. And to our face I would like to also add a bit of scale. So here maybe as we rotate just a tiny bit and here back to original position and here we're gonna do the same okay and i'm just gonna increase the scale here as the rotation goes this looks nice and here is our bow i'm gonna play with scale and position make a keyframe here and here i would like to do maybe something like this add an elastic expression to it play with those keyframes to find the perfect position and here we have our letters and I'm gonna make sure that they have the anchor point at the center so I'm just using motion to script again and just clicking here and bam every letter has an anchor point at the center you can also do this by hand clicking here and then <laughs> applying those anchor points and now I'm gonna play with position and scale so I press P and S on the keyboard this is gonna be our final keyframe so i'm gonna move those keyframes maybe somewhere around here and here we're gonna do something like this and maybe also scale this and what we are gonna do with this too we're gonna add an elastic expression again so right now we have something like this so now i'm gonna go to every layer and just reduce the amplitude to maybe eight let's see on this one letter Okay, this looks cool. We're gonna parent those letters to our, our uh, bow. So select those layers and parent them. I would like to parent this bow to our face. And in this case, it is also rotating as the face is rotating. And those letters could appear somewhere around here. But I'm gonna play with the position, this is too fast. And now let's sequence those layers, I'm just selecting those layers and use again motion to script. And just click here sequence and let's see what we have. And let's put those layers a bit to the left. This is gonna be a really fast and quick animation. So bam, bam. And the last thing that I would like to add is uh, just a small echo on our letters to add this nice effect. So I'm gonna maybe add number of echo 6 and echo time 0 0.005 and echo operator to maximum. Let's see, maybe 0 0.01. Yeah, this looks okay. So 0 0.001 and number of echoes 12. And I'm gonna copy this and paste to the rest of letters. So just a bit of fake motion blur. Okay, looks cool. And let's add the final adjustment layer to add just a tiny bit of scaling. So I'm gonna add the transform, put the keyframe here, scale. Uh, and let's put this one here and let's go at the beginning and maybe let's go with 110, let's see. Oh, this looks cool. Let's select those keyframes, press F9, go to graph editor and I would like to make a faster movement at the beginning and slower at the end. Okay, and let's render this and let's see the final result. And that's it for today's videos. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Let me know in comments what do you think about this one. If you want to be a bit more up to date with everything that I do, you can follow me up on Instagram. The link is down in the description. And what can I say more? Have fun with those techniques. Have an amazing day. And to the next time. 
Bye.